His Excellency Mohammed, how important will be this hotel in the next uh, few weeks? This hotel was always important for uh, for the world of football. You know, I, I think it is uh, since a long time it is hosting the the executive committee members in uh, in Zurich. So it's always important for us. So here, the bidding nations and the member of the executive committee will meet. Uh, bidding nation, I don't know, but the executive committee, yes, they are meeting. Not meeting here; they are staying here, but they are meeting in FIFA house. Okay, so so will there be some interaction between the people, the bidding nations, and uh, and the FIFA members here in the hotel? Well, to this time, I I really don't know, but it used to be always that that, that you know the. Uh, uh, that platform where you know bidding nations are uh, seeing some of us at least in, uh, in our hotels where we are, where, where, wherever we are staying but uh, no, it's not regular things you know. so was it hard to come to Zurich this time no not at all not at all but how do you feel about uh, the developments right now well if you are if you are uh, referring to what is about in the news about FIFA I feel uh, very, very, very uh, uncomfortable. Let me put it uh, that way, uh, with what have uh, been said about FIFA. But uh, you know, uh, I believe it's FIFA is a large organization, prime uh, sport organization in the world, and it's always going to be subject to some sort of you know uh, negatives here and there. But also you have to look to FIFA about its positives, you know, how much FIFA contributed to the, to the positive side of the, uh, of the world, mainly in the, of the game. So this is part of uh, sometimes something happening which is uh, uncomfortable. And how do you like the way in which FIFA is addressing the problem right now by uh, putting up a so-called ethics committee? Well, FIFA actually, and since sometime, maybe now, since uh, uh, 2002, uh, President Blatter is always trying to improve, actually, the, the image of the, of, uh, of the football image of, uh, of FIFA, reputation uh, of FIFA. So uh, FIFA is really very much uh, surrounded and guarded by such uh, uh, committees like the ethic, like the disciplinary, the law, like the audit. These are actually always defensive lines, if you, if you may uh, you wish to call them, that where uh, uh, FIFA is putting to ensure that, you know, they are acting in the best practice. In your own eyes, is now the, uh, the profile of FIFA in the, in the public view has come to kind of a button, uh, to, to, to a, a button? Or, or do you think uh, it's only a media frenzy? What is your opinion? Well, some of the media are very critical uh, for FIFA nowadays, but also some some of the of the media also are really very acting very normal. You know, I mean, uh, things like this can happen. You know, I mean, uh, so it's, it's not hundred uh, percent you know avoidable, especially you know uh, uh, when you if, when you want when you want to. Uh, uh, what, uh, what I want to say, if you want to uh, uh, judge the people based on what broadly they have to say, you know, I mean, for me, now I'm talking to you as professional generalist, I, ha I know how to talk, to talk to you, I know how to, uh, to behave uh, myself, I know how to address your, uh, uh, your uh, what you call audiences. But if you call, if you came to me undercover and throw to me anything you know like good or bad or you know then that's where you know the human nature is going to to come to the to the scene and maybe I will act or behave something which is in, in your views and your and the and the, in the public views is not is incorrect because that's good actually about FIFA as as a, uh, a big organization people looking at it as the standard of the people are, should be really above any suspicion or suspect, you know. So this, this is actually very good. And I believe, you know, people has to see this. Why it is in FIFA? Why FIFA would like, why, why media or people would like to see? FIFA is perfect. 
why it is not other or football organization or not football organization what other sport organization why they don't want them to see the same thing does it mean that other people are angels no but really people has put faith in fifa because fifa's practice is always like this but in the case of the members of the executive committee are th uh, the members that have been suspended now, are they still your friends? Do you believe in their innocence or do you think they are criminals? hundred percent. They are my friends. And uh, I spoke to them. I showed them my, my sympathy and my support. And they are innocent until court or something, some, you know, uh, judicial body will approve they are, they, are, they are guilty. But even if they are guilty, well, they will remain that, you know, I know them, I, I, I will be... Uh, always talking to them. Uh, Qatar is also a bidding nation for the World Cup. Does this whole problematic now, uh, does it, does it, uh, is it a kind of a uh, shadow for your uh, uh, bidding? No, not at all. I don't. How do you think about the chances for the, the Qatar bids? Well, if you want to evaluate Qatar as, uh, as a vision, Okay, why Qatar first in first place has come forward and submitted the bid. This is actually the vision of Qatar. Vision of Qatar that you know Arab world are three hundred and fifty million population. They are never hosted such big events in their life. Qatar living in, in an area where you know wars, conflicts, uh, name it you know is there since since ages since decades you know and to think about bringing the football to our region bringing people together create platform for peace and friendship among the nations who are living there actually this is the this is the vision of of a country and we are always saying that you know football today is not only a game, you know. Football is well, you know, uh, beyond uh, beyond normal game, you know. So if football cannot bring peace to the Middle East, nobody else, and no another way that peace can come to the to the uh, to the to the Middle East. So by Qatar presenting this uh, this uh, what you call the bid with this vision in view. I think they should be complemented. Um, in the, the press has all, all already started the rumor that uh, Qatar uh, has kind of talks with Spain and uh, Portugal. Wh how do you comment on that? You say that uh, it is like what? You say, you say that it is a rumor. So no. I, I didn't saw any. <laughs> I didn't saw any proof for it. Oh, but but and, maybe you could uh, maybe uh, you uh, could uh, tell uh, us. And, and you, I can bet you, you will see. You will, you will, you will never see any proof. I mean, if people think that, you know, uh, myself, for example, knowing uh, the President Angel Maria Villar as President of Spain, I know him very well. He's my close friend. He's my friend. I know him well before Qatar submitted the bid or, uh, or Spain submitted the bid. And I will, I will continue knowing him. But also, I know the other people. I have uh, uh, been to so many countries in the, uh, in the world uh, who are nation, uh, bidding nations. And uh, I will say I'll continue seeing them, seeing them. I'll continue uh, love them and uh, like them and work with them. Okay, uh, uh, last question. To, to my eyes, if I see uh, people of a committee who will make a decision, meet with people who uh, propose uh, a, a bid for, for a World Cup. So there is always kind of, in these days, the feeling of, oh, there might be corruption around. Wouldn't be the, a place like Buralok where all these parties meet kind of be uh, su uh, supportive to corruption? I don't think so. As I told you, you know, look to this 24 members history, you know, I mean, how much they have done to clean the environment of, of football and they actually did it by acting they have acted against the corruption they have acted you know to uh, clean and clear the uh, the, uh, the air and and uh, the environment uh, of football 
So one sad incident must not be generalized overall. I believe most of those people who, who are today in the, in, the, in, the, in the FIFA administration or FIFA uh, executive committee, they are honest people, at least for their football, and they are actually respectable people. They like their career, they like their future, they like their families, they like their nations. And I, think, I don't think so that it's just that, that easy you know, to bring all this uh, to, uh, to, uh, to jeopardy or to unrest uh, that simple. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this was just uh, the feeling that s some of the member states don't have a personal attachment to any of the country who like to have the World Cup. So they might be uh, open to influences when they meet people who propose them something. I don't, I don't, don't know. As I told you, you now, no, I mean, I know that I came from a very small nation and they have the courage to, to apply for, for a World Cup. But again, you know, I know my country. It is a country of vision. You know, in, in, in the years, past years, for example, Qatar has acting, acted as intermediate between Palestinians, our brothers, and the Israelis. They met with the Prime Minister of Israel, they met with Chairman Arafat, they, brought, they tried to brought, bring it together. Not because we are a we are United States. No, because we are still small Qatar. We are, you know, having so much, uh, you know, what you call uh, uh, peace initiatives in the, in, in, the, uh, in the Middle East between in Gaza and West Bank and South Lebanon and Darfur, not because we are Russia or United States, because we are Qatar. So from that, from that point of view, from that concept, we are also presenting a bit for a World Cup. And you are here as a member of the executive committee, or will yes, you go I'm out of the room once uh, Qatar will be on the, on the table? Well, I think the procedures is, doesn't, doesn't permit me not to vote for Qatar. And I'm, I am, I am honorably, with, with honor, with the pride, I'm going to go and bid for Qatar, whether somebody like it or doesn't like it. Okay. And uh, you think the way that uh, Josef Blatter uh, the, uh, is handling the, the issue, how do you like it? Yeah, Mr. Blatter is actually now uh, almost 35 years in this organization and you know if there is one person in the world who, who is going to be expert in handling uh, FIFA or handling the issues of FIFA it's going to be Mr. Blatt or nobody else. Yeah. Okay, so, so you're not worried about the legitimacy of the of, of the vote on uh, December 2 because uh, there is are some saying you know, maybe there are not enough delegates to vote and uh, maybe the, the vote is, will not kind of be legal well, at that I, point in time. I, I believe, I don't know, I, I don't know what, what, what you mean by the disappearing of the, of the people. Do you mean that the two people yes. or? Well, two, and maybe there will be some more uh, according to, uh, depending on uh, the decisions of the, of no, the I, I, I believe the, the, uh, the voting will take place. In the past, also in 2006, you know, there was the incident of Late Mr. Dempsey of, of, of New Zealand, you know, who decided not to vote, and uh, the numbers reduced from 23, 24 to 23. But still, the the process has continued, and and uh, we we voted. I, I believe there is no reason at all for the vote not to take place, you know, really, because it's going, it's going to be damaging actually the efforts of those nine nations who were working day and night and over the over you know so many years now for to to submit a bid and to present themselves to the world. So I don't think, you know, this isolated incident must, uh, must be a reason not for uh, the war to take place. Thank you very much.